Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. This video, uh, I'm gonna be installing a flamethrower kit by Hot Licks. So uh, I got the package right here. Try to block this out, but yeah. Let's open it. Hot licks exhaust flame kit. Ugh, get this out. Come on, baby. Alright. Any stickers in there? Nope. This is the instructions here. Let's start putting this on today. Take everything out. <sighs> Alright guys, so see it's eight to ten inches from the tip of the tip. So right there. Already got the other side on good. Spark plug pointing out. Yeah, might be able to see it a little bit. Sorry. We'll put some black stuff. We might be able to see it from the back, to be honest. Sorry, let's just hope we don't. But uh yeah. I'll put this one a little bit higher so I don't see this one. So 68, this is about eight and a half inches back. I'm gonna drill into it. I got my drill bit right here to start off the pilot, and then I got this drill bit right here. The step bit. So yeah, let's get to it. Yeah. Alright guys, so I did finish the setup as you guys seen from the uh, previous clip, but yeah, I didn't show you the trunk setup. Hold on. Sometimes that button is tricky. But, uh, yeah, don't mind this, I gotta fix all this again. I didn't really get it the time to get back here and put my floors back together, but yeah. 
So that's where I got the thing mounted. Wrong wire right there. And then hose drilled into the trunk. There. And there. That's the wires that goes to the spark plugs. So yeah. Pretty simple, clean setup. The wiring was pretty hard. Um, the wiring system was pretty hard under the hood. It's not like you know, most cars where you just connect it to an ignition coil wire. Our cars does not have it. The Dodges do. The new Dodges. Um, yeah, so our ignition coil wire also controls the fuel injectors. So if you just connect it to the one wire, and when you press the button, you cut off the fuel and spark. So you're not going to get nothing out of the uh, exhaust. And pretty much that will hurt the car. Uh, I've wired this thing up probably three or four times. And then finally realized that it's not working because of the, uh, the spark and the fuel injectors connected. So, yeah. I had to rewire all coil packs to one wire separate from the fuel injectors. I would show you guys, but it's probably a little complicated. And I'd probably just ask somebody, but if you really want to learn how to do it, just hit me in the DMs on Instagram. And I'd be more than happy to walk you through how I did it. This should be the same with all chargers, challengers, and Chryslers. So, yeah. Again, guys, thank you guys for watching. It's your boy, Jugtona. And we are... Uh, oh, wait, hold up. So today, we got new tent coming in. Um, I'll probably do a video on that. I'm going to take it to my boy house. Um, our boy, Bell. Bell's tinting. He does uh, very good work. He's pretty much known in the carpet community for the guy to go to for tint. So I got some luminous films coming in today. When it comes in, I'm going to drop the car off with him tonight pick the car up tomorrow and hopefully it should be it should be done by tomorrow but uh yeah again thanks you guys for watching shoots